This qualifying recap brought to you by Philips Connect, technology that moves us forward. How about a 378 at 326? And Leah Pruitt just went from the bottom to the top, 3.788. You have to be positive, right? What would it be like to park simultaneously? Our car's in the winter circle, and this, this feels like this could be our time. Matt, you're on a roll. And after our first Q1, that was, man, a little little bit of a, of a gut punch because we were just so wildly far off, and there wasn't a smoking gun of an actual mechanical failure going, that's exactly what happened. So to have the faith and trust in a lot of little changes to roll up for Q2 and not really try and go to number one because we wanted to establish our very first TSR mile high baseline that we don't have. We don't have it now until, or we didn't have it until just right now. It is very cool. We, when we were watching .TV after our run, we we're like, you know, if we can hold on to this number one, even if it spins for a night and, and push on it tomorrow, we have a lot of good competitors against us. But man, it's a cool feeling, especially at our race for Dodge. We have a lot of great people here and uh, if there's anybody to broker that power, I think it would be us. Number one is Wilk. Number one, 3.968. 324 miles an hour, and Matt Hagen goes to the top. I'll tell you, if, uh, it's hard on these motors as it is hard on this fat kid in the, in the seat. You know, it's, it's tough up here. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you're just uh, you're trying to get acclimated to this, this place up here. and. You know, been trying to get hydrated and, uh, you know, it's just, you got to stay ahead of it, right? You know, and that's what we're trying to do with the race car, stay ahead of it. You know, we got a good combination that we've been working on uh, over the years past. And we finally got a good combo last year. We shelved all that, put it on, on the shelf and bring it right back out here. For this Dodge car broken to run strong, two runs in a row like that, it's saying a lot. You know, we didn't just back into a one run. So our confidence going into tomorrow is, is, feels really good. Well, Aaron, 694, 196, 73, and Aaron Stanfield goes right back to the top. Yes, first time racing pro stock here in the mountain. Uh, it's definitely, definitely pretty cool. Uh, the gears come, come fast, but we just had a, we had a fast and consistent hot rod all year long. All year long. What, uh, what, what do you attribute that to coming to a place for the first time and being able to put down runs like that? How, how much time do you work on that heading into this race? So, I mean, I, I uh, the, uh, the crew chiefs, they obviously have a lot of data here over the years. And, uh, you know, they they, all, they can also help and offer me advice as a driver. And uh, that, that just, it just helped prepare me, prepare me for the run. Because it's definitely, it's different, it's different than, than I've uh, experienced in, in the car. We'll look forward to that later on in the year. I spoke to him earlier today, and he said flat out, he said, I came here last year on this bike, qualified number one, won the race. Why would I leave that bike in the trailer? He said, I don't have a tune-up for the Suzuki. I don't need to go out there and start trying to look for something. So we'll just run what we know. Both of them are 108, 60-foot box. Down the stripe we go. Whoa, 710, 189 miles an hour. Matt Smith goes to the top, 7.10. 189.31, the quickest run in Bandemir history. Looks like a pretty smart decision so far, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I guess we'll see what Sunday brings along, but, uh, you know, there was a lot of factors in, in making the decision like I, I did. Um, the first factor was, you know, I don't have parts and pieces for the Suzuki. I've only got one motor, and this place is hard on, on stuff. And the second thing is I've never ran a Suzuki up here, so... I didn't want to come up here and hurt my Suzuki and, and not be able to run it at Sonoma if I decided to do that. Um, and third reason is I was normal qualifier here last year and won the race. So I brought that same package back, just a different chassis and body work, and I mean, it went straight to the top. So, I mean, this is Denzo Lucas Oil, Mark Stockset bike, Greg Butcher trucking, and uh, Smith trucking. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's hateful. Competition Plus is your go-to source for the latest in drag racing news.
For over 20 years, CompetitionPlus.com has provided news you can trust. Thoroughly researched and delivered as quick and fast as it can be uploaded. Whether it's nitro or stock, drag radial or pro modified, our writers are trained to bring you the inside story time and time again. We have it all from in-depth news articles to the latest in high-performance products to the scuttlebutt making its way around the pits. Original video content from the stars and drag racing also makes CompetitionPlus.com the ultimate one-stop shop for die-hard drag racing fans. Don't make CompetitionPlus.com your only stop on the information superhighway. Make it your first. For news you can trust and have trusted for 20 years, visit CompetitionPlus.com. Be sure to download our mobile app. It's a free download on the Apple Store and Google Play.